You two get anything useful off Yuki's social media? No sign of her mystery boyfriend. But we did find something else. Yes. Yuki's feeds are mostly filled with friends from her unit. But look at Abby's post from last year around the time of the murder. They're almost identical. And that's no accident. Abby was imitating her. Which is also what her journal was really for. She wasn't jealous of Yuki. She was studying her, trying to figure out how to fit in and appear more normal. Well, the normal's highly overrated. It seems like they got along well, and if Abby wasn't jealous of Yuki, it pretty much eliminates her motive. And the truth is no one has found any real evidence against her, either here or in Okinawa. What if she's actually innocent? Well, Inspector Mori's team focused on Abby so early they didn't even look at other suspects. But if Abby didn't commit either murder, who did? From the dent in that bottle, I'm guessing you got my message. You believe Abby knows when he's innocent? Uh, still just a theory, but yeah, we think it's pretty likely. Whiskey, rocks, thanks. I was so sure Nelson was guilty. I've lost face, let down my country, Yuki's family, myself. Look, I'm not actually that knowledgeable about Japanese culture. Thank you. But isn't there a saying? Something about falling down seven times, getting up eight? Come work with us. Help us figure out who the suspect should have been. Special Agent Tenant will not allow it. She sent me. We gotta start at the beginning, and you know your case better than anyone. What's gonna come up? I'm just gonna assume that's yes. Right. <gasps> Look who's rolling in. Oh, oh bro, it was a long night. <sighs> Taking care of international relations. So I heard, hey, I got aspirin in my top drawer if you need it. No, I'm good, but Inspector Mori might need some. That dude can put away his shochu, man. No, I think he's fine. It's been here an hour already. I'm still not convinced Abby Nelson is not the killer. But we're being open-minded, right? Yes. <clears throat> good morning. Yuki and the Shogo are in the same unit, not that many other friends. All of these men were in Okinawa last year and are here now. It makes them the most likely suspects. Did Yuki have any problems with anyone from her unit? Not that we discovered. Well, whoever it was, she trusted them enough to let them into her apartment. It's been a year since Yuki's murder. Why kill Shogo? Maybe Abby was telling the truth about what he said, that he believed she was innocent. And Shogo is getting too close to identifying the real killer. Well, if it's one of these guys, we don't have that much time to figure it out. Iron Cloud wraps up tomorrow. The whole unit will be in a plane home right after the farewell party. Let's go over all their statements again. Chase just got the autopsy photos from Okinawa. She's got questions for you, Inspector. Okay. I'll take them. Thanks. Yeah. Trying to look quite so chipper. 